movie stars. We love them right up until we don't. And usually, the love affair ends when the star stops making good movies and starts making poor decisions instead. We certainly hope these once-beloved figures get their mojo back, but for now, here's a look at five actors whose careers took a bad turn. Hilary Swank what happened to Hilary Swank? Her Oscar-winning performances in Boys Don't Cry and Million Dollar Baby showed that she could hold her own with anyone in Hollywood. And she followed those up with a stellar performance in Freedom Riders, the story about a young teacher who inspires her class of at-risk students. But since her success with 2007's P.S. I Love You, she hasn't starred in anything notable. Have you heard of You're Not You or The Homesman? Don't worry, no one else has either. Robert De Niro he was once considered to be one of the greatest actors of all time. And that's still true as long as you don't look at anything Robert De Niro has made for the past two decades. After the success of Analyze This in 1999, De Niro turned away from serious roles towards lighthearted films, action flicks, and pretty much anything that would guarantee a quick paycheck. That's the only explanation for films like Righteous Kill, Killer Elite, and Killing Season, not to mention the fact that he co-starred alongside rapper 50 Cent three times. Not Al Pacino, mind you. 50 Cent. Was he totally high or something? Snort that line! Snort the f line! Shia LaBeouf. This is one actor whose career didn't take a bad turn so much as he intentionally drove it straight off a cliff. You know, we weren't making a movie to make a good movie, we were making a movie to hit a date. After making the ill-advised career decision to publicly mock the work of his Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull director Steven Spielberg, LaBeouf went from headlining blockbusters like the Transformers franchise to doing performance art and filming motivational speeches for the internet to play with. He's also appeared in wacko low-budget films like Charlie Countryman and Nymphomaniac, but according to an interview with the Los Angeles Times, this is all part of a grand master plan. Quote, There's this coming-of-age thing that's happening within me. I've come from family fair, pop culture, Steven Spielberg safe, made for a generalized populist projects, and I have these yearnings to do different things." End quote. To which we say, Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Renee Zellweger after Jerry Maguire, Bridget Jones' Diary, Chicago, and Cold Mountain, Renee Zellweger was on top of the world, with an Oscar under her belt and a string of box office hits to boot. But after filming Cinderella Man in 2005, she appeared in a string of flops before giving up entirely and quitting the business for six long years. And when she did come back, nobody was talking about her movies because they were too busy speculating about her face. To her credit, Zellweger took it all in stride, telling Marie Claire, quote, I'm glad folks think I look different. I'm living a different, happy, more fulfilling life, and I'm thrilled that perhaps it shows." End quote. Unfortunately, her big comeback film, Bridget Jones's Baby, was a surprise flop, so there's no telling when or if we'll ever see her return to stardom. Macaulay Culkin if you're looking for an example of a successful child star who couldn't cut it as an adult, Macaulay Culkin is Exhibit A. He was in a ton of great movies as a kid, including Uncle Buck and the classic Home Alone. But things started going downhill for Culkin around 1994 when he was part of the poorly received animated movie The Page Master with Christopher Lloyd. Following that bomb, Culkin starred in Richie Rich, which also tanked miserably, and was pretty much the last big release of his career. Other than that, I'm in good shape. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!